How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Master Beer Reviews. Back with Mystery Beers. Gotta love me these Mystery Beers. I hopefully love this Mystery Beer. Uh, mystery Beers. Um, they come from everywhere. Um, what are they? Someone out there in the wild wraps a beer up, puts it in the mail, sends them to me, and then I drink them and I talk about them. I have no idea what it is. No idea what it could be. This one I have a little bit of a guess. But uh, I drink them, I talk about them. Go from there. This one cur comes courtesy of Josh from Indiana. First Indiana box of beer I've ever gotten. So thank you very much, Josh. Um, so yeah, send me mystery beers. If you want to see me talk about beers, get them right, get them wrong, somewhere in between, I will do that for you. It's all about the shoulda, not coulda. Or is it reversing that? Coulda, not shoulda? I don't know. Anyway, let's crack into this. Okay. What do we have in front of us? Right now, we have a clear beer. Very clear. Um, is it a pale ale? Is it a saison? I have no idea. But that is fucking clear. Since my dirty glass mafia on the back end, which you guys can't see. Give that a little whirl. Throw it up there. I mean, look at that. It does not get any clearer than that. I mean, if you dropped out that yellow, it would just be water. That's how clear that is. Um, the ever so slightest bit of carbonation, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, it, it just looks like straight up apple juice. There wasn't much head to begin with. Um, yeah, just apple juice to the max. Kind of curious. See if you can get a nose. Kind of smells like apple juice too. If there was no apples involved, you're just getting a soft yeasty character, um, a little bit of soft bittering. That's pretty much it. You're not getting any sweetness. You're not getting much maltiness whatsoever in there too. It smells like something went a little bit sideways on. To be perfectly honest with you, yeah, it smells like a a, a non sweetened um, apple dropped out kind of juiciness. So. The way that head went, the way this smells, I'm not sure it's going to be a good beer, but we're going to dive in nonetheless. Cheers. Still not much there. There's like a soft berry vibe in there. I think that's coming from hops. Might be like a, like a, a floral kind of um, flower petal thing going on. I don't think so. I mean, from the taste, it's undercarbonated. It, it, it's really not much of anything going on there. A little bit of bittering hops. A little bit of soft, almost like lager yeastiness. I'm guessing it's somebody's Pilsner uh, or somebody's lager. That went a little bit sideways. Um, Getting just just soft bitterness, soft maltiness, a little floral character. I don't know if that's from the hops or an added component, like a little bit of like rested on rose petals kind of thing going on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a, kind of a dead beer, you know, a beer that just kind of died and there's not much left. I'll be perfectly honest with you. That's it. That's all I have. So yeah, somebody's lagered beer that kind of went sideways not overly hopped it's trying to get in that that kolsch kind of lager pilsnery direct it's not a pilsner but kind of trying to get in that kind of land with that soft hoppiness nothing too crazy done and done let's see what do we have here we have um sun king brewery um never had anything from them these is the orange top by the way um in the unboxing i did of these beers from uh uh, from out that way, I actually said, oh, this might be one of these breweries beers because it had a green, uh, orange top to it, but it's not that. But it's their cream ale. Okay, I kind of get that. Kind of makes sense. It is, um, ba -ba -ba, no story time. It's basically um, Sun King Brewery. It's their Sunlight Cream Ale. A pint in every can, a pint in every can. Well, if it's a pint, there's a pint in every can. Um, celebrate American brewing tradition by a balancing smooth malt complexity with a crisp, clean finish. Um, Indianapolis, Indiana. Something brewery. 
Is Sun King Brewery the people that did like the Tom Brady sucks thing? I think they were the people that stamped Tom Brady sucks in there. I could be wrong. Anyway, it's just kind of a. It just. You know, I'm fine with saying cream ale. Uh, to me, cream ales and pilsners kind of just get in the same area for me. Um, yeah, just the, with a lack of carbonation where the beer sat, it just it just wasn't going to be good from the get go, if that makes any sense. Is that cream ale? Sure. Um, you know, but it's also not like overly redeeming in any, any way. Look, I mean, look at that. Like, literally, looks like uncarbonated color water at that point. It's kind of a bummer. You know, you kind of want the beer to have a little bit of something, something going on, but, you know, at that point, you know, you're talking about just not even really beer. Um, so let's talk about it. It's one of the better cream ales I've had ever. No. Um, value availability? No idea. Um, and leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you want to know what kind of uncarbonated, kind of flat beer tastes like. Uh, unfortunately, that's what I got from this. Is this a singular can thing? I don't know. If somebody out there in the Indianapolis way or Indiana way can let me know if this is a common thing with the beer. Um, if not, then, you know, take it as just a, um, you know, an anomaly for a single can. Um, so there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting stuff. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little cream ale right now. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>